We just took breakfast to a whole new level. What about the crossing the idea of a cinnamon roll and your average bacon, egg, and cheese with a little bit of sausage? You know me, I went a little crazy, a little gravy. If you guys want to see this concoction, here we go. Flour, melted butter, nutmeg, sugar, one egg yolk, vanilla, salt, water, milk, and yeast mixture, and mix. Spray a little oil in your bowl. Sometimes a little oil in your hands will help too, instead of flour. You're just gonna kinda of like, just let gravity take its course, shape it into a ball, tuck in those bottoms. You're checking the elasticity. You see right there, we got a smooth skin. That's what we're looking for. And we'll let it proof for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. You just want to make sure it's doubled in size. All right, I'm gonna take about half the sausage out, maybe a little bit less. Our bacon's cooking nicely. And then I'll take that bacon grease. You guys know the deal. You can always learn something in the cooking. Somebody taught me this a long time ago when we started social media. And I've been doing it ever since. So I don't know if they still watch, but if they do, thank you. Bacon grease inside the sausage, cause you get a little bit of that smoky action. Dino Mike. I'm just keep working this bacon and just get it to where it's nice and crispy. I don't think I necessarily want um, like chewy bacon because if it's going to go into the breakfast roll, then you definitely need something to counteract the doughiness of the dough. I'm just looking at the fat content. It seems pretty dry, even with the bacon grease. I'm add about a half to a tablespoon of butter. You guys know the deal, you know how to make gravy. Equal parts flour and fat. Just make sure you work that bottom, get that fond off from the sausage and the bacon grease. That's where a lot of your flavor's at. Couple of things to note, don't season your gravy until the very end when you're ready for your consistency. And as the gravy cools, as you guys know, it will uh, thicken as it cools as well. So you gotta play that game of what's too thick and what's too thin. I'm gonna grate one pack of Gouda. Just looked like it was a perfect idea for me. Pepper jack cheese will work. Um, any type of cheddar, something like that, doesn't matter. A little pepper and a little salt. Not bad, about 300 to 325. I'm actually going to bump the temp up just a little bit because what happens when we add a bunch of eggs down to a griddle? Zaps the heat. Thank you. Uh, plenty of bacon grease left over. I'm going to work on getting that fond off. I don't like the, the burnt bacon. See how my butter's reacting on the griddle? Nice and calm, barely frothing up. That means this side right here needs to come up just a hair. That's what we're looking for. 
All right, first thing we're gonna do is create a dam. So we're gonna go about halfway up and let those eggs cook. Nice and soft. And I'm going to take these right past this stage right here. Typically, I'd pull them roughly about this stage, but since they're gonna be in the dough, just trying to hedge my bed a little bit, a little bit drier egg. Doesn't take long. And there you go, 12 nicely scrambled fluffy eggs. And after about an hour 15 to hour and 30 minutes, your dough should be doubled in size and look something like that. Throw a little bench flour down, a little extra on the side if you need it. Keep it gentle, square it up a little bit so it's more even. All right, now we're just gonna roll it into a rectangle like the idea of a cinnamon roll. those air pockets in there that's what you're wanting all righty i didn't mention it earlier but this is actually our go-to sweet dough recipe now uh we'll have it listed in the uh, description below for you guys if you guys are interested there's a copycat from what food network mm -hmm. yeah we love it um I struggled on which one to make. There was an idea that came to mind. I like the savory breakfast more than I do sweet breakfast. I, I typically don't go sweet that much. Um, but another idea I had was the idea of a McGriddle, right? The syrup and the pancake and then the breakfast sandwich. So you could actually take syrup right now and go across the whole thing. Uh, maybe with some butter or cinnamon like that and then lay your ingredients on there. And then once it bakes, you could actually top it with more syrup. Like I said, I'm the more savory guy, so that's the route I'm gonna go. Now that we got it rolled out, some cheese. Typically you'd add butter, but since the obviously cheese and butter's are from the same cow, I think I'll do just fine. One thing to caution about, I don't think you wanna overload this too much. So kind of be restrictive in how you do this. Sprinkle some of that sausage on. Like I said, I don't think you necessarily want to overdo it. This is like half a sausage, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna use all of it. Another thing we thought of was like a, a spinach and a ham, but like a Gruyere cheese, sun-dried tomatoes. However creative you want to get, you can throw your vegetables down like a quiche style omelet. You could just do like strictly vegan or vegetarian, I should say. Just give that bacon a rough chop. You want to be careful with your bacon that it's not too large when you're trying to match the hatch, remember you're gonna to have to cut these cinnamon rolls. So if your bacon's not crispy and it's chewy, you might not be able to cut right through the cinnamon roll. Last but not least, we're gonna just kind of like somewhat just lay these eggs over here. Like I said, I didn't know how much eggs it would take, so I don't know. I think this is going to be fantastic, babe. So far, I 100% believe I've overstuffed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like making an egg roll or like one of those like dumplings. Like when they say add one teaspoon, I'm like, are you kidding me? Let's get about a quarter cup in there. Looks like I'd make a good breakfast pizza right now. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what cooking's all about, is trying something different. I just had a chief, a retired um, command master chief uh, in the Navy reach out to me about something. And it brings back so many memories because underway is probably like, although every sailor typically hates going underway, but the idea was uh, when you're a chief's cook, you kind of like move up the ladder. And since they're enlisted, not officers, they still have like a lot of camaraderie with you. And it was like football season and they let us be like super creative. They would absolutely love this. They love the stuff that we made. We love the gibber back and forth about like what you guys are going to make us today and all that stuff and it was a hoot so it was nice to reach out him to reach out and uh just had a blast like communicating all that stuff just bring back a lot of memories especially with some of the food we made god we made a bunch of stuff there's how many eggs i have left out of the 12 so i'm gonna guess anywhere between six and eight eggs you could probably got away with six eggs like i said i think it's too full i just told my wife off camera there's no way that this works so if it does it does if it doesn't i'm telling her right now it's just <laughs> It's overstuffed. I don't know. So good so far. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have better rolling skills than me. <laughs> so once you get your roll started, kind of like spring it back and get that dough taut, tight. It'll help make you a better fatty. So far, so good, babe. I'll be able to seal that crimp, seal that edge. I think the thumbnail should say, "Can you roll it?" <laughs> Son of a gun. Look at that. You underestimate yourself, babe. All right. All right. Got a buttered uh, 9 by 12 baking dish. 9 by 13. 9 by 13. <laughs> and we are just simply going to try to even this out. So make the ends a little bit fatter. Now's the time to work your dough to get everything even. So. See why it's important to have the bacon and the sausage and everything smaller? That's why I preach match the hatch. I mean, just look at that goodness right there. I mean, it looks amazing. <laughs> Righty, after they're done, we're gonna take them inside. We're gonna let them proof uh, again for about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, about 45 minutes later, we're gonna throw these in the oven about 375 degrees until they're done. I gotta be honest with you, they look fantastic. Some of them work, some of them didn't, but that's what makes all the little nooks and crannies for that gravy to sit over top. So, I don't know if it's gonna matter which one. I really don't. It's just fun to try something different. If I did not mention this, we had the oven at 375 and it took almost exactly 30 minutes. You can maybe do 25 minutes if you wanna get technical, but I wanted to make sure the inside was done. Oh yeah. And just to top it off, a little hot sauce on mine. I gotta tell you, you think about the idea about like your family and friends coming over for the holidays. It's fall, holidays are right around the corner. This would be an absolute perfect way to try something different. Uh, instead of your breakfast casseroles or something like that, I think this would work. 
just well. Oh yeah. Got that cheese on the bottom. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is awesome. Oh, it worked out. Got the Let's eggs. See. The flaky dough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, let me try. Oh, man, that's good. Look at the sausage, egg, and cheese in there. A little bacon. Not that bite. Mm hmm. Hot. Mmm. 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 That's mm. pretty neat. I don't care who you are. That's mm. cooking 101 right there. I really think that the spinach and gruyere, maybe it's like sun dried tomatoes, you could put like goat cheese, feta cheese, or something like that in there, almost like a frittata style. I'm telling you right there, that is, that's the joy of cooking. Coming up with the ideas. Mash them together and see if they'll work. I, I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to fall apart, but there you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you guys are interested, uh, find mm -hmm. us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. Also, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Last but not least, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. <laughs> I mean, this is like a, like a breakfast hot pocket that's, on steroids. That's dang good, babe. Mm. <laughs> Mm. That is too cool. Mm.